we have elf mail and we have post burn reviews to do this video welcome back to the channel everyone the santa maria here and we always love the weekly candle post burn review as always i rate candles by three categories the first category is burn experience and that is literally how the candle burn did it tunnel did the wicks drown with the flames high we talk about it there second category is throw and that is on a scale of one to ten with one being scentless wax to ten being a powerhouse candle i need to blow you out so i don't choke then the third and final category which is very important is would i repurchase this candle again and that is a yes or no answer and bonus you all we have elf mail that we will be sharing very excited about this but before we do that lipstick of the day y'all lipstick of the day we have mac macaresh lipstick but most importantly get into it else let me know what you think in the comments below it'll always be linked just like everything else that is on my face next up we have fragrance of the day and this is from the house of tiziana terenzi and this is lynn shay you all this is powdery almond goodness Ooh, i need to wear you more so i can do your dedicated review but i have been enjoying you and it's actually working very well in warm weather tiziana terenzi's lynn shay is your fragrance of the day so as stated we have elf mail i got a lovely personal letter love that super excited this is from elf christina very excited this is first and this is from all the way from up from new york so i appreciate that and we have a lovely box that came check this out i love surprise boxes total surprise had no idea this was coming and then after i received it elf christina did reach out to me to make sure i got it i was like girl i wasn't expecting nothing but thank you <laughs> So as always, letters are personal and private, but it was such a very heartwarming and felt note. And I'm very happy to have this. And I love personal handwritten letters. They're so sweet. So thank you, Elf Christine, again for writing to me as well as sending me a gift. And the gift that she sent me, which this is a candle I've always wanted. It's a bestseller. So thank you for this. And this is from Yankee Candle and this is Pink Sands. This is one of those iconic fragrances from the Yankee lovers. And I always see it on display whenever I walk by my Yankee Candle store. But now I have one. It's like peachy blossomy. It is. <laughs> I have to look the notes up, but they don't have notes on here. But this is perfect for May going into June. This is really, really good. So this is a two week tumbler candle for those that are wondering. Very excited again. Thank you, Elf Christina, for sending this over. Thank you. And now let's get into these post burn reviews. So we have, let's see here, one, two, three brands that we're gonna discuss this time. So let's get on into it. First candle up, this is from Bath and Body Works, and this is the Flower Child candle. This one I picked up as a part of the early spring collection. I want to say I bought this back in like February, March. So let's get into the notes. We have Flower Child. We are notes of white, Narcissus, Cashmere Musk, and Sweet Cedarwood. Based on the notes, I was like, I don't know where this is going to go. This was definitely a candle I had to smell. And yeah, <laughs> I ended up buying, as you can see, burned all the way down three weeks. Now let's talk about the burn experience. Flawless Victory, as you all can see on the inside, I have no issue here even burn no hot spots no uneven wax none of that it did what it needs to do so yes then let's get into the throw throw on flower child was pretty moderate in my opinion i give it even dry it down burn down <laughs> even burn down i still give it about a seven it was nice it was definitely that this creamy vibe which definitely that cashmere note was the one that overtook everything so it was a subtle pleasant very much so living room guest friendly type of room type of candle so this was a seven now would i repurchase flower child again it was nice it was pleasant again very guest friendly but it's so guest friendly to the point that uh, it didn't move me <laughs> so for me flower child is a no on the repurchase ticket i just yeah it's okay but i don't hate it but it's a one and done it's just the best way to put it one and done I'm glad i experienced it but i don't need more of it bath and body works flower child Next candle, this was one of these special candles that everybody went crazy over, including me, because I ran out on the first day these were released to make sure I got one. The candle I'm referring to is from Bath & Body Works, and this is the PB&J Ice Cream Candle. So let's talk about it. Notes, we have our raspberry jelly, vanilla ice cream, peanut butter sauce. Honestly, y'all, this was wild berry jam donut repackaged after it was burned. So no, it wasn't so much PB&J. This is wild berry jam donut. 
it is it is i know people try to argue and debate about it but that's what it is y'all that's what it is else let me know what you got on this candle when you burned it and smelled it please let me know in the comments below so let's talk about the burn experience on this candle it did its thing only thing is though it was sooty look at that sorry my lights let me get that there it was real sooty y'all and i'm like Oof. yeah that could have been better in my opinion but mm, it is what it is now let's talk about throw because again this is wild river jam donut the throw was spectacular absolutely this was a powerhouse candle i give it an eight point five it was eight point five <laughs> So it was good. I enjoyed it because I enjoyed that candle. I enjoyed that scent profile. Now, would I repurchase this again? This is a repackaged candle. So for me, no, I would not repurchase this again. Only way I would would be if it was 75% off and just because I like Wild Beverage Jam Donut. But by itself, as is, no. So PB and J and ice cream, mm -mm. it was overhyped. Next candle we have, this is from Goose Creek and this is their Hocus Pocus 2 collection. This is the Broom Squad. I know y'all like, wait a minute, that's a Halloween candle. Yes, it is a Halloween candle. It had got cool for a minute. It was dipping down. So I figured why not burn a cool weather candle? And I did. So let's talk about it. As you can see, burned all the way down. And now let's get into the burn experience. So burn experience, this one did kind of suit a little bit, but it wasn't too bad. It was okay. So I was like, okay, no, I won't complain because right when it's about to suit too much, it corrected itself. So fine, I'll take it. Mm. Throw now, throw now this one. Oh, this was a 10. This was a 10 because I had to blow it out a few times. That's how I know it was a 10. It would definitely smell like a marshmallowy fireside campfire type of thing. So you get this sweetness, but with that campfire smoke going, and oh, it felt like a true campfire was in here. And like I said, it got to be a lot some nights, so I just had to blow it out. So this was a 10. Powerhouse of a candle. Now, would I repurchase this again, Broom Squad? I know it's was special edition, but if they do re-release it and let us know exactly what the candle is or the notes are, which I know they had them up at one point, but if they re-release it or bring it back, I will get it again because this was again was a powerhouse. And I like that smoky but sweet vibe that was happening. It was good. So Goose Creek Hocus Pocus 2 Broom Squad candle. I enjoyed you. Definitely a cold weather candle though, not a spring candle, fall, winter only. Next up we have from Homeworks, this is the Poolside Splash candle. Poolside Splash, this is a three wick candle by the way. We have notes of mandarin water, dew drenched melon and coastal mint and beach grass. So this is definitely a fruity but watery type of scent. Three wicks burned all the way down. Now let's get into it. Burn experience, flawless victory. Check it out again. No issues to complain about whatsoever. Throw on a scale of one to 10. This one was like moderate, but reading the notes and seeing the watery vibe in here, I knew this wasn't gonna be the strongest candle just to be straight up. It was fruity, it was melony. You get that little bit of a mint at the end. So throw on this one was like a five in my opinion. You kind of had to like be near it to smell it, but it was like, oh, okay, it is burning, but you kind of could forget about it just to be straight up on that. I'm gonna repurchase this one again. Poolside Splash, this version, I did not enjoy. I know this is a repeat. We've seen this one before and I feel like I enjoyed it and it was stronger in the past, but this version wasn't as strong as I would have liked. So for me in the three week, no. In the traditional four week, yes, I would get pool size splash but the three week it didn't give me what i needed so it's a no for me next candle you all this is also from homework now this is a four week candle and this is the sparkling citrus candle check that out so notes are fresh squeezed orange pineapple juice mango sugar cane and as always burned all the way down check that out now let's get into the burn experience y'all this is beautiful this is so even I have no issues to complain about whatsoever. This is immaculate, yes. Throw on a scale of one to 10, this was absolutely a citrusy, fruity drink type of a candle, heavy on the citrus, so I'm leaning more so on the orange juice side in my opinion. Throw on this one was about a six, so it was moderate, a little bit above average, but not much. Would I repurchase this one again? It was okay but it wasn't all the way my kind of vibe of a candle so for me it's a no it's a no it was a one and done i liked it but i don't have to get it again so sparkling citrus from homeworks 
it's done <laughs> and the last candle everyone <laughs> we had to end it out on a positive note last candle this is from bath and body works and this is the tried and true champagne toast oh yes champagne toast we love her so let's talk about the notes champagne toast notes are bubbly champagne sparkling berries tangerine no juicy tangerine <laughs> I did kind of knock this wax over a little bit so it looks a little funky, but check that out. Burned all the way down three weeks. Now let's talk about it. Burn experience. It did its thing. It was even. The flames did get a little high at the end, which you can tell around the rim of the candle. So it did get a little high there, but outside of that, it was okay. Throw on a scale of one to 10. Uh, hello, it's champagne toast. It's a room filler. It was a nine. It was a nine. Beautiful room filler. We love it. We love it. We love it. We love it. So you can already tell what my answer is going to be on the last category, right? Mm -hmm. That is, would I repurchase this candle again? And that is a yes. Absolutely. I love champagne toast. It is here to stay. In fact, I need to get another one now that I've burned this one. So Bath & Body Works Champagne Toast is a yes. So this wraps up my edition of Weekly Candle Pulse Burn Review. As you can see, um, this one wasn't the best type of situation. Now the burn experiences were good, throws were eh, but overall, a lot of these are one and done. That's just kind of interesting to me. I haven't had a roundup like this in a minute. <laughs> yeah, it may have been becoming more picky, more peculiar, more specific, concerning my candles. Maybe that's what's happening right now. We'll see. And let me know what candles have you burned? How are you feeling about your candles? Are you loving them? Have you found anything that's hoard worthy? Especially as we're getting close to these summer sales, end of the season sales. Let me know what candles you all are loving. Also, let me know what candles you all hated and you like, why did I buy this? This sucks. <laughs> As always, if you didn't give me, subscribe to the channel. If you're here for the content, hit that thumbs up button. And if you're not here for any of these, that is okay. I guess you don't like candles. Mm. But until next time, Elves, I will catch you on the next video. Bye, y'all.